Lesson 5. Expressing certainty and uncertainty. The lesson objective is to use common expressions of certainty and uncertainty. Dear students, listen and look at the following sentences, first paying attention to the meaning and tense of the certainty and uncertainty same expressions. Look at this dialogue first. It is about certainty or something sure where we don't have doubt. Ali says, we do not have enough rain this season. Farmers are not harvesting much. F will be expensive. Bully says, quite sure, it will certainly be more expensive. Do you think this dialogue tells us something very sure? Tells us that F will be really expensive? Or does it tell us doubt or unsure, unclear idea? idea? Certainty is where there is no enough evidence, no, no enough but hard, sure, but hard, sure, 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 is when there is no enough evidence, no enough could put many others. Sure, is is when there is no enough evidence, enough evidence. No, 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 could pro, no, could pro, many other, pro, many others. Let's now look at this dialogue, dialogue again. Let's now, many others. Let's now, let's now look at this dialogue again. Where there is uncertain or unsure message. Charlie and Donnie are talking. Charlie says, oh, we have enough of rain this season. Farmers are harvesting much. Thus, F might be much cheaper next year. Donnie says, I don't think so. It might cost more. When you look at the word don't think so and might, you can be sure this is doubtful. This is uncertain. Let's look at another situation or scenario, a small piece of story. It is cloudy this week. It might rain heavily. Does this tell you something sure, something real, something clear, something true, or something doubtful, something uncertain? Let's see one more example. Undoubtedly, it will not rain in the evening because there is no cloud in the sky. Undoubtedly tells us that this is what we cannot be sure of. Might may tell us what we cannot be sure about. They are uncertain. They tell us uncertainty. Some more expressions below for certainty. We can use quite sure to mean very sure. We can use absolutely sure to mean fully or completely true or sure. Certainly to mean surely. We can use many more other expressions for expressing certainty. Uncertainty. We can use these phrases like might be, maybe, could be, probably, and many other more. Might be means doubtfully or it is usually used in the past. In the present we use may 
in its past form, we use might. Just like shall and should, will and would. Might is also used with reference to past idea, past time. Maybe, meaning probably, usually, in the present or future, when we want to talk about something unsure, something uncertain. Could be is also used to mean maybe or probably uh, in both past and present time. Could be can be used as possibility elsewhere. Here we are using maybe, could be, like maybe. Probably to mean almost happening or not happening. Probably T shows probably shows something not very sure. Let's practice using these phrases, these verbs in the following four sentences. One, I'm 100% sure. I'm fully sure. I'm very sure. I'm dead sure. TV will dash help with English, help us with English. TV will dash help us with English. Is it maybe, might, certainly? Choose from the above three mixed expressions of certainty and uncertainty to make the sentences complete and meaningful. Two, city life is not clean and safe. It is dash dirty. Three, I have no car. I wish I dash buy a car one day. Four, she coughs again and again. Dash, she has caught coronavirus. Did you use maybe or might or certainly correctly? Soon we will see the correct answers. Here we go. One, these lessons will certainly help us. 100% sure. Two, City life is not clean and safe. It is certainly dirty. Both of them are sure. First and second sentences. Third sentence. I have no car now. I wish. I may buy a car one day. Four. She coughs again and again. Maybe she has caught coronavirus. The last two may and maybe show uncertainty. We are not 100% sure. We have doubt. But in case of one and two, we are very sure 100%. I want your feedback. Did you get these two concepts or ideas clearly? One and two are sure to happen. You can use other certain certainty expressions in the same place also. Three and four are not sure to happen. You can use other uncertainty expressions also. Let's have more practice involving writing. Let's write to complete the following questions. Two questions. I know it will not make you tired. One question. I'm late. Can I get a bus now? I'm late. Can I get, get a bus now? The answer is no, I'm not sure. Dash, you can get, you can't get. 
The answer to the question will be correct only if you use the right word certainty or uncertainty marking. Second question, they are be beginners. Could grade one students use English? The answer to this question could be used in certainty or as uncertainty. One word will, will guide us. Dash, dash, they dash if we help them. Little is also English. That means they can use English, although it is little English. So is this certainty or uncertainty? Should we use may or certainty? Or surely decide? This is a little bit challenging for you, I know, but it is not much. It is only two questions. You can go back to your book or go back to your note. Go back to your exercise we answered above. It is similar. If you are given one example, you can do other examples. More possible answers are written below. Look, for the first question, will I get a bus in the evening? I am late. The answer should be, no, I'm not sure. It is a bit late. Maybe it is a bit, a bit late. It is impossible. Well, you might get, I'm not sure, and other uncertainty expressions are also possible there. There is no only one answer in English. That's old style. And the new style is expressing yourself using what is possible, what are possible, as long as you understand and communicate your message. Question two. Could grade seven students use English? The answer could be, dash, they could if we help well. Certainly, quite sure, absolutely, and other certainty expressions. Your practice is not enough. You need more practice at home. Relax and work with your textbook. Open your textbook at page 114 and do exercise B yourself accordingly. But don't, don't forget, you are lucky. Congratulations upon finishing five lessons now, after you do the textbook assignment. You can listen, learn, and live better. Good time, time, back to school, school, school. Goodbye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.